My name is Mary Ruth Walsh. I'm a visual artist. This is my studio in New Ross, Ireland. My work is about architecture and buildings and how it affects the way we move and behave and the longevity and disposability of buildings. In London, walking through the streets and looking at the neoclassical buildings there, I was inspired to make the White Goods series. The materials I sourced were from skips and markets. I brought these back to the studio and created structures that were a roughly half a metre by half a metre. These were placed on white plinths that were up to three metres high, which manipulated the viewer's perspective of these structures and interiors. As part of that series, I filmed the interior of the structures. This vastness of the film and then the miniaturization of the actual structures flipped the viewer's perception of reality. These models are architectural proposals. They're cast from ordinary throwaway plastic packaging. I'm interested in the longevity of buildings or their disposability. It's representative of buildings that last hundreds of years whereas the contents inside the buildings, the packaging, can last thousands of years. Instead of using plinths for this architectural proposal, I've used empty packaging and empty chocolate boxes. The materiality of the buildings are very important. They're clean, white, smooth, perfect. I'm elevating something that is normally disposable. This work is a film work and it's titled I Am Here For You and it's based on the large spaces like airports, shopping centres. There's a huge sameness in these buildings and the signage is the only thing that differentiates them from one to the other. The book that really inspired this as well was Learning From Las Vegas, which is a key book from the point of view that the signage in the strip was seen to be more important than the actual architecture itself. The book equated this with the paintings in medieval churches, which acted like signs for people who couldn't read. I was interested in looking at airports, large public spaces and shopping centres and stripping them of the signage to see what these buildings would feel like. Plastic veneers after plastic veneers and veneers, which seemed to go on constantly. The really interesting thing about these veneers is they were, if they were damaged, they were placed. So the building didn't age, the interior of the building became ageless. The Beautiful Building series was inspired by a train journey in Germany, passing by factories and buildings that seemed to go on forever. They appeared to be lit from the inside and have no signage. It made me very curious about what was being manufactured inside them. I decided to flip the signage and put the idea of what was manufactured inside on the outside of the structures of the building. 